Now, earlier this year, I did a video showing you how you can set up a multi-camera live stream by utilizing cameras you probably already have access to, like your smartphone or the webcam that's simply built into your actual computer. If you wanna see that video, you can check it out over here. But since creating that video, I've actually moved studio spaces and we now have this brilliant purpose-built space for creating YouTube videos, but I also want to utilize it for doing very frequent live streaming performances on my live looping rig that's behind me over here. But this time I want to create an insane quality of production level to this live stream. And I want to use my proper mirrorless video cameras like this Sony a6400 that I have over here. Now with this new live streaming setup, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use a camera switcher. Now the camera switcher I have chosen is the Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro ISO. Now there's loads of different versions of this particular camera switcher depending on what features you actually require for your live stream. But the important thing to understand about the Blackmagic ATM Mini camera switches is the fact we can connect up to four HDMI signals. So that means you could connect four different cameras via HDMI to your camera switcher and you can seamlessly switch between those during your live streaming performance. Now recently I upgraded all of my YouTube cameras to Sony a6400 and in fact I own three of this particular camera body which may seem a little bit excessive but because I'm a musician YouTuber I do a lot of product demos and musical performances so I have to capture all of the different angles and perspectives within a single video so I require multiple cameras in order to achieve those particular results. Now the really cool thing about the Sony series of mirrorless cameras is the fact they have the ability to output a clean HDMI signal directly from the camera into a camera switcher just like this one right here. Now previously with my Canon cameras that I was previously using for my YouTube channel a few months ago, they did not have this ability at all which meant they were useless for live streaming which is what I want to do on my channel. So now let's move on to the actual camera setup process and how we can connect all of our cameras to the Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro. Now for the particular camera body that I have, which is the Sony A6000 series of cameras, they have a micro HDMI out connection. So they have the ability to send a HDMI out signal, usually to a TV screen or a monitor so you can watch all of your videos back on it. But we're going to utilize that functionality to send a clean feed directly into the Blackmagic camera switcher. So right here I've got a cable that is micro HDMI to full size HDMI. So obviously the small end will go into your camera and then the normal standard size HDMI cable will go into the Blackmagic Mini Pro. Now, once you have successfully connected all of your cameras, you're obviously going to want to monitor what you're doing with the ATM Mini Pro, because obviously if we just switch between our cameras like this, we have no idea what we're actually doing. So you're going to probably want to connect a standard HDMI cable into the back of the HDMI out port on the ATM Mini Pro. So we'll connect that and then we'll plug the other end into a monitor. Now to the side of me here, I've actually got a monitor that I'm going to use for monitoring what I'm doing with this camera switcher. Now, when it comes to going live with the Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro, we actually have a few different ways in how we can achieve this. Now, the first way is by utilizing your network. So you can connect the Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro to your network via the network port on the back of the camera switcher. And then you can connect this to the software that is also on the same network as well. And then via the software, you can go live directly to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Restream, all those types of platforms directly within the software, which is really cool. The second way is by utilizing the USB type C connection on the back of the camera switcher. So this means you could connect the USB type C directly to your computer after downloading all of the drivers. And then you could select the Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro ISO as a camera source inside software like OBS or even inside of Skype and Microsoft Teams. So you could have multiple camera options if you're doing one-to-one -one tuition videos as well. And this is probably the easiest way to go about connecting it because it's just one cable and one preference within the settings menu. However, you do lose the functionality of the external record, which we'll talk about in a moment if you utilize the USB type C connection on the back of the device. Now the cameras I'm using in combination with the Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro are a little bit over the top for this particular setup. And that's because the Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro 
can only output at a maximum of 1080p HD, which is full HD, and you can live stream at 24 frames per second all the way up to 1080p 60 frames per second. However, the resolution does not go beyond 1080p. And obviously my cameras are 4K cameras, so I'm not maximizing the full capabilities of the sensors within this camera. But that's not necessarily a huge issue because um, you may not necessarily have a fast enough internet connection to live stream in 4K, and also the people consuming your live stream may not necessarily have a fast enough internet connection to stream content in 4K. So I think 1080p at the moment is probably a perfect sweet spot. So if you're looking to replicate the setup and you don't have any flashy cameras like this, you don't need to buy a 4K camera. You may only need to buy yourself a 1080p camera and save yourself a little bit of money for this particular setup in today's video. So this is the type of quality you can come to expect from the Blackmagic 8CM Mini Pro ISO. Now I have all of my cameras connected via HDMI. We've got camera one and we also have camera two, which in this current setup is an overhead shot. And the way I'm capturing all of this footage right now is by utilizing the external record functionality of the ATM Mini Pro camera switcher. So you can see right here, I have an external SSD connected via the USB type C port into the back of the camera switcher. And this is allowing me to record all of these camera switches that I'm actioning by clicking the buttons directly to this drive, which I can then plug into my computer later on and edit with it. That's really cool because not only can we control our live stream with this Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro ISL, but we can also record a physical copy of that live stream if we wish to repurpose all of that footage. So for example, we could take that long format content and we could break it down to shorter format content for Instagram, Facebook, and even, even snippets and highlight reels here on YouTube to show what we do within the live stream to attract more viewers to come and watch them next time we go live. So that's a really cool thing that we can do with this external record. So we can still live stream directly via the network connection going into the Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro software. And then we can also record via the USB type C connection to the external drive. There's some other really cool things we can do such as transitions. So we can, instead of having a harsh cut, we can have a cross dissolve between the two images if you're looking for something a little bit smoother. And we can also do picture in picture so you can probably see I'm appearing in the top corner of this image and you can also see the overhead image as well which is really cool if you're trying to talk about something on a specific product and you want two images to appear at the exact same time. Now if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing because I am currently in the process of revamping my entire live performance setup along with the actual live streaming side of things as well. So if you want to see more videos just like this one let me know in the comment section down below. But as always I've been Ben Rollins. thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.